welcome to equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so first of all, we just want to look at what the connection is between fractions and percentages. Well, uh, this one all comes from what the word percent actually means. Um, the word percent means out of 100. Um, and so if you want to convert between percentages and fractions to turn a percentage into a fraction, you can quite simply just write it over 100 and then simplify it. If you want to turn a fraction into a percentage, well, we build up to a fraction over 100. And so we just need to find equivalent fractions until we reach um, a new uh, denominator of 100. So let's have a look at some examples of this. Um, find the equivalent fraction or percentage. The equivalent uh, percentage of one fifth. So the first thing is we said that uh, what we want to do in order to make a fraction into a percentage is to make it a fraction that's over 100. And so how can I make this fraction so that it is over 100? Well, what do I do to 5 to make 100? Well, that would be multiply by 20. And if I do that at the uh, bottom of the fraction, I also need to do it at the top. So I'm going to times by 20. 1 times 20 is 20. And therefore, if I've made it into a fraction over 100, then that is my percentage. One fifth is exactly the same as 20%. If I looked at 85%, now again, what we said is to turn a percentage into a fraction, just write it over 100. And so the very first thing is 85% would very quickly become 85 over 100. Now, the only thing we have to do, that one there is actually, it's entirely correct. We just want to simplify it though, just to make sure that we've got the simplest version of the answer. And to do that, we just need to think what number goes into both 85 and 100. And the answer to that is five. Five goes into both numbers. Now, five goes into 85. Well, if we count them up, it actually comes to 17. And um, how many fives go into 100? Well, it is 20 and so 85% will be exactly the same as 17 over 20. For 3 over 50, if I want to turn that into a, uh, into a percentage, the first thing is I want to turn that fraction into a fraction, which is over 100. And so how do I turn 50 into 100? Well, I times 2. And so I'm going to do exactly the same at the top of my fraction. Multiply by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And so because I have this as a fraction over 100, I can say that 3 fiftieths is exactly the same as 6%. 75% as a fraction. Well, again, when we want to turn percentages into fractions, we just write them over 100. So uh, 75 over 100 um, is fine well let's try to simplify it as well what number goes into 75 and 100 well five works five goes into 75 um 15 times and five goes into 100 20 times and just looking at that 15 over 20 well in fact the number five goes in again how many times does five go into 15 goes in three times and how many times is five going to 20 it is four and so 75 percent is the same as three quarters and in fact that is a very important relationship it's one that you are just expected to know um, straight off the top of your head and um, 75 percent being the same as three quarters um, in 14 over 25 i want to turn that into a percentage well, again, I'm just going to start with the fraction. Um, the idea is that I'm going to turn it into a fraction which is over 100. So how do I turn 25 into 100? Well, I would need to multiply by 4. So I need to do the same at the top. 14 times 4. Now, if I want to do that quickly, 14 times 4 would mean times by 2 and times by 2 again. So 14 doubled is 28. Double it again is 56. 
and so 14 over 25 is exactly the same as 56 percent and finally 12 percent if i want to write that as a fraction well i'm going to begin with percent meaning out of 100 so 12 out of 100 all i want to do is simplify that what number goes into 12 and into 100 um, well we could do this by two so if we just half both numbers 6 over 50 and if we have a look at those is there a number that goes into 6 and 50 well we could half them again so we could say 3 over 25 is there a number which will go into 3 and 25 well there is only one and therefore that is the final version of the answer 3 over 25 so next we need to look at the connection between decimals and percentages um, and in order to convert between decimals and percentages um, it's a very simple trick in fact to turn decimal into a percentage we multiply by 100 to turn a percentage into a decimal go the other way we divide by 100 so let's just try that out um, so i want to turn 0 0.36 into a percentage and therefore because it's a decimal to begin with i just want to multiply by 100 and when we multiply by 100 all of the digits move two places to the left in terms of their place value and so this would become 36 percent and if i want to turn 14 percent into a decimal well in this case i'm going to divide by 100 if i divide by 100 all of my digits move two places to the right in terms of their place value and so this one will become 0 0.14 0 0.09 if i want to turn that into a uh, percentage well i'm going to multiply by 100 so 0 0.09 times 100 well that is nine percent 60 percent if i want to uh, turn that into a decimal i'm going to divide by 100 and if I do that division, I would get 0 0.60, which obviously that is exactly the same though as just 0 0.6. Um, 0 0.2, if I wanted to turn that into a, uh, into a percentage, I'm going to have to multiply by 100. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 100 will be 20, so that is 20%. And finally, 17.5%, if I divide that by 100, in order to turn it into a decimal well all of my digits are going to move two places to the right in terms of the um in terms of their place value so i would actually have 0.175 but in order to uh, make this an actual value i do need the zero at the front it'll be 0 0.175 Finally, we're going to look at the connection between fractions and decimals. And for this one, um, it's going to uh, all come down to place value. Um, and so within the uh, decimal, uh, the decimal uh, number, what the place value of each decimal place is. And so if I want to turn the fraction into decimals, I'm going to use the place value. Is it tenths, hundredths, thousandths, etc.? And if I want to turn decimals into fractions, exactly the same. I need to identify, am I dealing with tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. And so, if I'm going to find the equivalent decimal or fraction to 0 0.3, well, the first thing is I need to just understand what does the last digit of this number actually relate to? And in this case, it relates to the tenths column. And so my fraction is going to be over 10. And then all I need to do is have a look at the digits and say, well, how many tenths do I have? I have three tenths. And therefore, 0 0.3 is three tenths. Nine fiftieths. Now, with nine fiftieths, there is a small problem. Um, because this is not in terms of tenths, hundredths, or thousandths. And so the first thing I need to actually do is I need to make this a fraction which is over either 10, 100, or 1,000. And the easiest way to do that would be to make it a fraction over 100. I've doubled the denominator, and therefore I'm going to double the numerator as well. It'll be 18. Now, if I want to turn this into a, a decimal, now basically all I'm thinking of here is the place value. 
and because it is 18 over 100 as soon as you can see that you can automatically say it's going to be zero point and then all that means is if it's hundredths it means the last digit must be in the second position and so the last digit here is an eight and the one before it is a one so 0 0.18 0 0.07 well that is one two decimal places if it's two decimal places to get to the last digit that means it is hundredths that we are dealing with and the question here is how many hundredths well it's just what we've got written here it's zero seven it is seven hundredths for four fifths we have the same problem as we did for nine hundred uh, nine fiftieths we don't have a fraction over ten a hundred or a thousand and so we're going to have to do that so four over five would be exactly the same as what over 10 well i've doubled the bottom number so i'm going to double the top as well become eight and so eight tenths what that means is if i was dealing with my decimal it would be zero point if it's tenths it means that the last digit is actually in the very first decimal place and so zero point eight zero point two five again all i want to do here is think about how many decimal places am I using well I'm using two decimal places which means my fraction is to do with hundredths and it's 25 over 100 but 25 over 100 is not as simple as this fraction could be and so we need to think what number goes into 25 and 100 well the answer to that will be 5 5 goes into 25 5 times and 5 goes into 100 20 times but looking at those numbers what goes into 5 and 20 well actually 5 goes in again so 5 goes into 5 once and into 24 times and so 0 0.25 is a quarter now yet again this is one that you are expected to know straight away off the top of your head that 0 0.25 is exactly the same as a quarter and finally, 1 over 10. Straight away, this is a 0 point something. Because it's over 10, that means that we only need one decimal place. And we have one of them. So 1 tenth is 0 0.1. And so finally, we come to the exam question. It came from the Edexcel Foundation Paper 1s. I've taken this actually from four different papers because it is such a regular um, topic to come up. Um, four different foundation paper ones have had questions on converting between fractions, decimals and percentages and they're always generally within the first two or three questions just to give you a nice easy way into the papers. And so the very first question is write four fifths as a percentage. So remember as soon as we see as a percentage we want to be thinking of a fraction out of 100. That's our starting point. And so how many times does 5 go into 100? Well, that is 20. So I'm going to need to multiply by 20 on the bottom. And I'm going to have to multiply by 20 on the top. So 4 times 20 is 80. So 4 fifths as a percentage is 80%. If I want to write 20% as a fraction. Now again, we've got a percent. Which means we can straight away just think about over 100. It's 20%. So it's 20 over 100. Now, in this case, that is actually a perfectly acceptable answer. Uh, 20 over 100 would get you the marks, but if we want to simplify as well, well, 20 and 100, um, they can both be divided by 10, so that would give us 2 over 10, and then both of those can be halved, so 1 fifth. 0 0.6 as a percentage. Now, we need to turn a decimal into a percentage. What's the link with decimals to percentages? Well, the link is that we just multiply by 100. So 0 0.6 times 100, that is 60%. And finally, 15% as a decimal. If I want to turn percentages into decimals, I need to do the opposite. I need to divide by 100. And if I divide by 100, 15 over 100 is 0 0.15.